Professor Nigel Penn. I'm a professor in the Department of Historical Studies at UCT, and my area of specialization is early South African history, the history of the Khoisan, the history of the Dutch East Indies Company at the Cape, and the history of early British colonization at the Cape. My involvement in the project began when Vicky or Victoria Gibbon from the uh, medical school discovered that UCT had these unethically acquired skeletons in the anatomy department. She discovered that these skeletons had been exhumed in the 1920s from a farm on the Rockefeller. My role in the Sutherland project was really to provide historical background to the, the region and to give some, some history and to attempt to give some sort of context or depth to what might have been going on in the 19th century. How a historian would go about finding out more information about this site is largely through the archival records not so much through the archaeology or the pathology or an analysis of the bones or facial reconstruction, etc. We would go to the, the archival records, which of course are a bit patchy for this region in the 18th and 19th century. Um, nonetheless, we can, we can find out quite a lot about the, the region from criminal records, magistrates' records, land records, tax records. Uh, very little has been written about the history of the Rockefeller in the 19th century. Uh, that still has to be done. We know that in the 19th century, commando activity was still prevalent. We also know that children were being taken captive and placed as laborers on Boer farms in, in the vicinity. So this was a region where there were still these very oppressive labor practices which we can discover more about through the records. This has been an amazing project because it's involved so many different disciplines. We've been, we've been able to, as it were, breathe life back into nine very obscure individuals who would have been lost completely to history. Now they don't only have a history, a background and individuality, they actually have faces as well. Finding these skeletons and locating them at the farm Kreis Rafir in the Rockefeller has, and, and locating, being able to identify the descendants of these skeletons has made a direct link between the present and the past, which, which is very exciting. I suppose for me this was a, a moment of profound historical reflection.